Israel's army is keeping a close eye on the war in Syria from this hilltop base in the occupied Golan Heights. The conflict is close. This town in Syria is less than a kilometer away. The war, often visible from the Israeli side, has had countless casualties, and many of those injured in Syria end up in Israel. For the past three and a half years, as the war has raged, the Israeli army has moved some 2,600 Syrians across this frontier for medical treatment. It's up to Captain Guy Yuval and his men and women to make sure it's safe to transfer the patients. We check to make sure they are unarmed, that they have no explosives or anything that can threaten us, he says. The Syrian patients are transferred by the military to a number of hospitals in northern Israel, including this medical center that has treated more than 700 Syrians. When we visited, we found a number of young men who say they were injured while fighting for the free Syrian army. They don't want their faces shown to protect their privacy. This man, who calls himself Mohammed, suffered a severe leg injury in an attack he says was launched by the Syrian regime. Mohammed says growing up, he was taught that Israel was Syria's enemy, but after treatment here, he says his views have changed. He says Israel is a hundred times better than President Bashar al-Assad in the way they treat people as humans. Israel and Syria are still technically at war, but this doctor who has treated dozens of Syrians says he hopes that Israel's efforts to help the war wounded will change minds. Maybe it's small piece in building, a small stone in building of peace here in this area, because it's enough, the war and now blood. With the war in Syria showing no sign of ending, Israel expects to treat many more wounded and continue to build bridges between people who have viewed each other as enemies for decades. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, Safed, Israel.